Sierra Leone is said to be among the first African countries that established diplomatic relations with the Soviet Union, now Russia, in 1962. Russia continues to assist the country in the areas of higher education and trainings through grants every year. Opening of the first non-government Russian house is part of fulfilling the objectives of the Russia-Africa summit held in Sochi in 2019 geared towards peace, security, and development through mutual relations with the theme, forging economic ties and creating joint projects. The ceremony also coincides with the 78th anniversary of victory in what they denote as the Great Patriotic War, popularly known as the Second World War. This is also in fulfillment of an agreement signed between the two governments, says the Russian Federation Member of Parliament, Yuri Nemtev. We're honored uh, by the fact that Sierra Leonean government uh, recognized Russian Federation as a continuation country from Soviet Union. And in fact, uh, there used to be a Soviet embassy in uh, Sierra Leone back in the day. And we believe that this Russian house is just the first step uh, towards reopening of the uh, Russian embassy in Sierra Leone because uh, we are two brotherly peoples and it's a must for the Russian Federation to uh, have an embassy here at some future point. The non-government Russian house will be used to facilitate connections between the two countries in the absence of an embassy in Sierra Leone. A friend to the Russians, Ambassador Dr. Umar Bunduwuri, who doubles as special advisor to the president and ambassador at large, highly commends the development and hopes that it comes with investment opportunities. I remember when we were young, there was very good relations. Many people from this country, this scholarship to go to the Russia, mm. and they are still around. Many of them are still around. And I was very much impressed with the information from the lady that our beaches are some of the best they have discovered, and that they are going to have people coming to investment. So we believe in investment because they are the ones that provide jobs to our people, and that is what we need. We have so many young people, graduates, non graduates, who are capable to do a lot of jobs and we look forward to your investment into this country. We look forward to building up the relationship between the two countries so that both will benefit mutually. The Russians believe that, notwithstanding the Russia-Ukraine crisis, they must continue to build mutual relationships in Africa, especially a country like Sierra Leone. Various events uh, may happen uh, all around the globe, but we believe that uh, we just need to do our job uh, and uh, develop mutual relationships between Russia and African countries, in general Sierra Leone in particular, regardless of uh, political uh, turmoils. And uh, we do everything uh, uh, in our power, uh, we're doing our best to, to make sure this happens. The non-government Russian house will expand opportunities for constructive dialogue, fruitful cooperation, and successful implementation of intended goals to reflect on economic and cultural ties between the Russian Federation and Sierra Leone in a positive way. Salivujarna Kamara, AYV News.